This is Jet. Jet was a two and a half year old colt when he was spared from the slaughterhouse. They would have already been packaged and frozen and um, probably already eaten by somebody over in Europe right now. Jet is trotting around Second Chance Cheek Eye Ranch in Squamish with an injury on his hind leg. That's probably one of the reasons why he um, was put in the auction. He didn't fit the mold. He's one of about 100 horses rescued by the ranch, and Chris Latham says she can't take any more. A lot of people are under the stress of, uh, yeah, high feed prices, so they can't afford to keep their horses and they're sending them to auction. Latham says horse owners are struggling with a rising cost of feed, gas, and a growing shortage of equestrian land. But she also says the influx is partly due to irresponsible breeding. And I'm not saying that all breeders are bad, that's for sure, but there are a lot out there that just uh, throw stallions out in the middle of a herd, let the mares get pregnant. And it's, just, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Horse advocates say they're getting more calls from people who can't afford to keep their horses and are asking breeders to slow down. We, we try to help people with referrals. Sometimes we can find a place for them, but it's getting now to the point where we don't know what to say to these people anymore. Like Jet, many horses at Second Cheek Eye are considered too young to retire. And Latham wants to raise awareness about what it takes to own and care for horses. It, it, it doesn't, uh, you know, matter whether or not it's a dog, it's a cat, it's a horse, you know, um, our pets. And these are animals, sentient beings that, you know, feel and um, have the want to live as well, too. In the meantime, the horse rescue continues to care for horses like Jet, giving them second chances in the hopes of eventually finding them greener pastures. Ali Pitarga, CBC News, Brackendale.